What's up guys, Alex Staunch here. Happy to be with you fine folks this evening. Now if you've been keeping up with the channel, you know that I've been up to some pretty wacky shenanigans as of late. As of all year actually. I started out the year going out to Hollywood to work with old Mr. Feldman, Mr. Corey Feldman, and that's still that's still coming about. I can't really talk too much about it. But that is still happening. And I found myself out there again this year in old LA, La La Land, Hollywood. I love it out there. Only this time, I was flown out by none other than Bar S Hot Dogs or Bar S Foods for, you know, the enlightened minds out there. And for what other reason than to be featured in a Vanilla Ice ad, com a commercial, music video, all of the above. To basically, I won a contest and I was able to go out to Hollywood to hang out for three days like a king and get to hang out with the ice man himself and now i gotta say old rob van winkle being a fellow texas boy well we had a good time he is one hell of a dude you you, you get the sense that he is a genuine guy and i got i'm here to tell you he is one hell of a guy so how does one win a hot dog contest without having to eat a bunch of hot dogs Vanilla Ice is back, baby. Ever since I brought new flavor to the hip-hop scene, I've been looking for more ways to mash things up. And that's why this summer I'm joining Bar S to get the grilling season jumping with my most iconic mashup yet. I'm putting a sizzling new Bar S spin on the one and only Baby Got Back. And the dopest part, you could be in my music video. So click, tap, swipe, do what you gotta do for your chance to win. Now that sounds good. Word to your mustard. Why should I join the legendary Vanilla Ice? I am a huge Vanilla Ice fan, especially the later stuff like Hard to Swallow and Bipolar. A lot of bitches just don't know. I run a YouTube channel that is just about to hit 3,000 subs, an audience that is also willing to buy out every Bar S section at their local grocery stores. All of these reasons, plus word to your mustard, I am an actual, legit, Bar S fanatic. I love that shit. Cue the wrath of the Iceman. So the plane ride wasn't too bad, if I'm being honest. It's way better than the first time I went up there with Spirit Airlines. And um, so when we arrived on set, yeah, I, I saw this giant hot dog. So of course I ran up to it and took a picture. And shortly after, they put me in wardrobe where, you know, I, I accidentally decided I thought it'd be cool to button up the shirt. No, they, they wanted it open. And um, look at this wardrobe, guys. This is the first time I've worn color in, like, my whole life. And then a quick spot in the makeup chair, which was very strange. It easily took, like, ten years off your face, guys. We're being, we're being cheated. And, um, you know, I, I basically told her ahead of time, yeah, I'm going to sweat all this off. These are the nice dancers. These guys are cool as hell. I didn't get any of their names. Yeah, so um, this is the set. It was pretty cool to be on an actual set, like in Hollywood. It was just in a big empty building, like out of nowhere, and they had catering set up and whatnot. They got Vanilla Ice parking spot right here, and uh, yeah, so I got to hang out with the dudes. This guy's name is Ian. He's he's really cool. Um, if I remember, I'll put his uh, Instagram down there. One hell of a dude. All these all these guys were just pros. Yeah, and then so Ice showed up. He did a promo for uh, TMZ. And then he just started get going, man. This guy is on it 100% all the time. He was hyping us up, getting us going. That's the, that's Vanilla Ice for you. And so this first take here, it's pretty funny. Um, they basically told me just to sit there and act like I'm having a good time. And this is what I look like when I'm having a good time, just kind of hanging out. And I told them, you know, I'll do whatever you want. And they told me to sit there. So I did. And it's, it was kind of a whatever take. So then uh, the director came up to me and said, hey, well, you know, when, whenever Ian gets up, go ahead and, and stand up and dance around. So, of course, I did. This is my, my first take. I swear I did better dancing than this. I'm just kind of doing the fat guy shuffle right here. I didn't really know what to do, guys, but I had one hell of a time. And then, oh, this is a funny story. Um, right here, there's a, a line about a crock pot, how he don't need no crock pot. So they set up the crock pot and they tell us to react whenever Vanilla Ice pushes it off. And uh, he pushed it off and he completely demolished it. Check this out. Yeah, 
yeah, that was not a prop crock pot. <laughs> that was the real deal. I kind of thought that they would take the, the inside of it out, but no, no. As I said, the real deal. Vanilla Ice does not mess around. Neither does Bar S. Some great hot dogs, folks. And look at this. They didn't even use this shot, and I got hit in the face with about a million hot dogs. <laughs> One hell of a trip to Hollywood. And it looks like I lucked out because, according to the storyboards, the winner of the contest was supposed to get in a hot dog costume. Damn, if they would have told me, <laughs> I would have been down for that too. So basically, I entered this contest at the 11th hour. It was the last possible second. They said I had one of the best entries, the most charisma, and then they, one of them told me that it was random. So who knows what really happened? But your old pal at Staunch TV won the, the ultimate hot dog giveaway. And, I, you know, I got to say, Bar S, you guys, all, you guys all rule. Every single one of you. I don't want to name you off here. I don't know what the rules are there. But all y'all were so nice to an old Texas boy. Now I don't want to show you the whole video right now. You can go check it out. I'll put the link up right there. Um, but here's a few highlights. That burger is just so bland. I like big buns and I cannot lie. You burger lovers can't deny. The choice ain't tough. Wanna pull up your cuffs cause you noticed that the bun was stuffed with ketchup, mustard, relish. This hot dog's making you jealous. Oh, bar S. I would never switch up. Wanna take your picture. Warmly, and this bun I got makes me so hungry. Oh, something's cooking. You think I'd rather order in? I seen them grilling. Don't care if I'm spilling. No crock pot could ever be the dog that's hot. I'm tired of fries and wings. Bar S. Frank's so hot, so juicy. Bar S. Frank's so hot, so juicy. Baby got buns. Be sure to subscribe and hit that little notification bell, why don't you? And make sure you subscribe. YouTube likes to unsubscribe people for some reason. I don't know. And be sure to keep up with the Iceman and all of his antics. He, he has a new movie coming out soon from what he told us. And oh, by the way, he said Adam Sandler lets him improvise in most of his movies. I had one hell of a time hanging out with the Iceman, Rob Van Winkle, Vanilla Ice. And I, I gotta say, I hope I get to hang out with that dude again sometime. And I hope I get to see him live. You know, it was cool seeing him do that song over and over and over. But I would like to see a full life set. Maybe even a mind-blowing, like, uh, anniversary set or something. How about it, Ice? Come on. How about a mind-blowing set or, or hard-to-swallow reunion? Let's do it. I'll play drums or guitar or whatever. Um, you're not, you're not going to hit me up, Ice. I wish you would. Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and share this video, why don't you? Special thanks to my brother Paul Gonzalez for filming all this stuff. Oh, and uh, thanks to Todd Biggerstaff for coming out and hanging. South Texas represent. Oh, and uh, hey guys, why don't you check out this video I did a while back about when Vanilla Ice went new metal.